easy. It's watch flexors, people that just buy watches to show off their wealth. Uh, people that only see watches as pound notes or dollar bills on their wrists. They're just profit items. Uh, they don't have a real appreciation for the watch itself and it's just a, a public display of wealth. Um, the watch wars are in effect, that is people who believe that watches are interesting and they love the cool story behind them and they think that's far superior to the expense of a watch or just how, how hard it is to, to get. Uh, status wearers versus appreciators. My quest in life is the pursuit of what I call the seven pillars in life. Uh, it's high development in all of these core areas. Number one is health. You need to be high energy and have a strong mindset. Number two is family, which is for me the bedrock of, of life. Number three, friends uh, for entertainment and inspiration. Number four is freedom. You need to have freedom in life to allow you the gift of time and choice. Five is positivity, uh, having a happy energy that comes from, from within. Number six is love, both inward and outward flow with good vibes and, and compassion. Number seven is financial peace, which is personal wealth that keeps the stress and worry wolf away from the door um, and help provide opportunities for, for others. The more of these I can have to a high level in life, the happier I will be. Um, but the problem is, as you dial one up, um, often another one will automatically dial down and achieving them all requires a high degree of balance and, and education. I feel like I'm doing well on my quest, but there's a few shortfalls and I'm learning fast that often you need to sacrifice one for others. Okay, a great watch is a watch that makes you happy, quite simply. It, it, it creates emotions and feelings. Uh, and the history of a watch, perhaps the personal history linked uh, to you or the watch or the story of the watch itself and the watchmaker and the brand, um, that makes a great watch. When a new watch comes into our lives, new stories are born uh, and, and they attach themselves to the watch. A great watch is a watch that forms a strong connection with you um, and it should create um, sensation transfer and that is the term used for the unconscious assessment we make about a product based on how the item makes us feel, not necessarily on the actual item itself. Uh, and we do this all the time. Um, for example, wearing the same watch that James Bond wore in 1983 movie Octopussy, it may evoke nostalgic feelings through a bygone time and um, this watch is creating a sensation transference back to that movie in that time. Uh, precision, engineering, style, design and durability of a watch uh, makes a great watch and the watch is personality uh, that makes it charming and romantic and it's important that a watch becomes a small expression of us as, uh, as individuals. For me it's the soul of a watch that creates the emotional connection and the attachment. The happiness they bring, the stories they make us think about, the memories they evoke. Uh, a watch can help you to feel close to loved ones and take you deeper into memories. They can become cherished mementos of people helping you to feel their presence. Uh, they take you to places and evoke special feelings that are, are close to your heart. And we buy watches because of the connection they have to other people. Um, and that connection is real. Thoughts and places in your imagination that watches can take you to up on plains, mountains, deserts, rivers, seas. Those connections are real. Um, and when you buy and wear a watch, a tangible bond is formed. It's like a companionship, the kind you might have with a, a pet. And I honestly do believe that watches can create a form of energy that conjures up drive and ambition and motivation. And they can inspire us to focus the mind and create wonderful thoughts and achieve great things. The acquisition of the watch itself uh, can become a memorable attachment link. Uh, was it a reward, a success point? Was it a life milestone? or a cherished inheritance, um, the expression of oneself, uh, the emotions that are created and the strange energy that these watches conjure up. I sometimes see my own personal watch as a, like a little mechanical pet. Um, I mean, I, I have the same sort of love for my watch that I might have for a small furry animal. It needs care and interaction and it relies on me to keep it alive and clean and running. Uh, and, and that's a connection. How many possessions do we own that are physically close to us throughout the day um, as a watch is? Apart from the clothes on our back, uh, our watch is a meaningful and useful accessory that's on morning, noon and night. Um, and that's a real way to form a bond.
Timepieces are evocative of their era and capture the imagination. And that's exactly why we love watches. Um, it's not love. It can't quite be love. I'm sure we can't love mechanical objects. Surely not. Um, I mean, I've experienced love quite a few times and I know that feeling quite well. Um, and it's not lust, I, I know that feeling too. I think the feeling of watch love is an intensely deep appreciation and it's a coming together of respect, admiration, craftsmanship, design, history and prestige. And these feelings and emotions merge together to form a sensation explosion uh, that creates a deep sense of desire. We fall for the history of the brand's inception and the story behind its growth and the spirit of why their watches were created. And the satisfaction of wanting, hunting and obtaining a watch, it's the thrill of the hunt. And it's the identity of the, the watch, it, the, the identity it makes you feel that you uh, undertake by putting it on. It can make you feel close to a hero or an idol. And it's the knowledge um, that watches are like mini brand museums on our wrists that we can't carry around cars or paintings or buildings, but we can carry around watches. The fact that they're beautiful, useful items, we attach a high emotional value. They can be status symbols or tokens of success or appreciation, mementos of loved ones. Um, and a watch can subtly be a show to the world of what sort of a person you are, um, what you represent, your values.